Welcome to the part 4 of the Pitman Shorthand course. In this video, we are going to have a look at position of outlines. Ok, so just as there are three places where we put the vowel signs like first place, second place and third place, in the same way, uh, there are three positions where we can make these strokes and curves. Ok, so these three positions are called above the line, on the line and through the line. Alright, so now throughout this course, just for a reference, I'm using these symbols to represent these three places. So to represent the above the line, we just use this symbol or sign and to represent the on the line, we just use this symbol and finally to represent the through the line, we just use this symbol. Okay. So now uh, let's understand these three places uh, by making a stroke. So first of all, as you can see that we have this line here. Alright, like this is a line and this is a line. In the same way we have this line. So suppose now uh, if we make a stroke like this. Okay, so as you can clearly see that this stroke was made above the line. Alright, this was above the line. And now if you make the same stroke again like this. So now you can clearly see that this stroke was made on the line. Okay. Now finally, if we make the same stroke for the third time, like this, then you can see that this stroke was made through the line. All right now, if we compare these three strokes, if we compare the position of these three strokes, or you can say the place of these three strokes, so we can clearly see that this stroke was made above the line, and this stroke was made on the line. And finally, this stroke was made through the line. So if you make a curve now, like we make a curve like this and another curve like this and another curve like this. All right. So now we can again clearly see these three curves and the position of these three curves or the places of these three curves. This curve was made above the line. This curve was made on the line. And finally, this curve was made through the line. Okay. All right. So now suppose we have a word called palm. All right. So now how we're going to know that uh, where we have to make the first outline for this word, whether above the line, on the line or through the line. All right. So here we have a rule that you have to remember. Alright, and that rule is the first sounded vowel in the word determines the position of the outline. So this simply means that if we pronounce this word, it goes like palm. Alright, and the first vowel sound that we are getting from this word is ah. Alright, we are getting the ah sound from this word. Alright, and this ah sound is the same as we get in the pa vowel. Alright, so now if we see all the vowels which are on the first place, like this pa vowel and this all vowel, this that vowel and this not vowel. Alright, so all these four vowels are on the first place as you can see here. Okay, so and you can also see the sign of this above the line on all these vowels, on, on all these four vowels. All these four vowels have the sign of above the line also, all right, as you can see. So what this means? Well, this simply means that when the first sounded vowel in any word is the first place vowel, then the outline is written in the first position, all right? So now if you pronounce this word again, it goes like palm, all right? And the first vowel sound that we are getting from this word is a, ah, which is as in a vowel, all right, and this, and we already know that this pa vowel is a first place vowel, all right. So, and we can also see the sign the above the line. So, this simply means that uh, the first outline that we will be making for this word, which is p, right, because if you pronounce this word, it goes like palm. So, the first uh, sound that we are getting is p, the first letter is p. Alright, the first consonant is P and the vowel, the first vowel that we are getting is A. Alright, so the first 
outline will be our p so we will start making this p outline above the line like this and why we just made this above the line why we did not make this on the line or through the line because the first vowel sound is the first place vowel all right the first vowel sound is a and a is a first place vowel that's why we just made this p outline above the line and as you can see here all the first place vowels all the first place vowels have this sign above the line all right so this simply means that whenever we are having any word and the first vowel sound that we are getting from that word is a first place vowel so we will always make the first outline for that word above the line and that's why we made this p outline above the line because the first vowel is a first place vowel all right likewise now suppose we have another word called pay all right so now if you pronounce this word it goes like pay so we have this a vowel now this time and a vowel is same as we have in this may vowel all right and as you can see that may is a second place vowel all right and we have this sign this on the line sign here all right or or on the line symbol here okay and all the second place vowels like may go pen and much all these four vowels are the second place vowels and all these four vowels have this on the line symbol all right so as we have this word pay and the first vowel sound that we are getting from this word is a and a is a second place vowel so here this simply means that when the first sounded vowel in any word is a second place vowel then the outline is written in the second position or you can also say on the line okay so we have this pay word and the vowel the first vowel sound that we are getting from this word is a and a is a second place vowel as you can see here and we also have this on the line on the line symbol so the first outline is our p here because if you pronounce this word it goes like pay uh, so the first outline is p so the first outline p will be made on the line like this okay so likewise now if we have uh, this another word called like p this time so now if you pronounce this word it goes like p so see we have this e sound coming from this word the first vowel sound that we are getting from this word is e and e is same as we have in v all right so v is a third place vowel and we also have this sign through the line this time okay and as you and as you see all the third place vowels like to is and good they also have this sign through the line okay so this simply means that whenever the first sounded vowel in any word is a third place vowel then the outline is written in the third position or you can say through the line okay so as we have this word p here and we have this for the first vowel sound that we are getting from this word is e which is a third place vowel and the consonant the first letter is p so we will be simply making our first outline p through the line like this all right so this is it so let's just uh, have a look at this whole chart again all the first place vowels like pa all that and not these vowels are the first place vowels all right so whenever we are having any word and the first vowel sound is the first place vowel then we will be making the first outline for this word always from above the line as we have this above the line symbol on all these four vowels the first place vowels okay in the same way all the vowels which are on the second place like may go pen and much all these vowels are the second place vowels so if we have any word where the first vowel sound is a second place vowel so we will always be making the first outline for that word from on the line as we can 
C on the line symbol on all these second place vowels. Likewise, uh, here we can see the third place vowels like V, to, is and good. All these are third place vowels. So whenever we have any word where the first vowel sound is a third place vowel. So we will always be making the first outline for that word from through the line as we have this through the line symbol on all these four vowels which are third place vowels all right so this is not very complicated it is very simple because if you carefully have a look at this chart see it's just above the line on the line through the line above the line on the line through the line above the line on the line through the line above the line on the line through the line because and it's very simple because we have one two three one two three one two three one two three so you just have to remember first place vowel is equals to above the line second place vowel is equals to on the line and third place vowel is equals to through the line or you can simply say like uh, one is equals to above second is equals to on all or third is equals to through all right so that's how we make the first outline for any word that's how the first outline of any word is made all right so once again let's just uh, have a look at this statement again the first sounded vowel in the word determines the position of the outline so in any word the first vowel sound that we will get all right the first vowel sound in any word will determine the position of the outline all right so it's just that simple so that's all for this part and I once again uh, recommend you that you just uh, have a look at this whole chart and if you did not understand the the whole concept I just recommend you that you watch this video one more time or as many time till you are totally comfortable with the concept okay so that's all for this video and I will see you in the next part